Sunglasses with built-in speakers? Let's check these out. Aloha, Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out these. Well, I'm checking out both of these. These are sunglasses with built-in Bluetooth speakers and microphones, and they're pretty cool. So I'm comparing two different models from two different companies at two very different price points. Let's start with these. These are the Lucid Light, and as you can see, they look just like regular sunglasses. No one would know that secretly on both of the earpieces, you actually have speakers, but they don't fit in your ear. It's a really great design because the speaker, as you can see in this close-up, is on that part of the frame, so it's just pointing towards your ear. Now, what this means is if you're listening pretty loud, then the person next to you can hear it if everything else is quiet. But if you're on the beach and there's waves and there's all sorts of other stuff going on, they're going to have no idea you're listening. And of course, you can hear everything else around you. Now, the real secret with these is they're fantastic for phone calls because the microphones are really close to your mouth. So they sound better than actually if you have your phone up to your face. And obviously you can talk for hours this way and great for skiing, snowboarding, skateboarding, roller skating, just walking down the street, whatever it is. Really interesting and really fun designs. So let me go back to these. These are the Lucid Light. They work with Bluetooth 5.0. They have four hours of playback time in their battery, six hours on a call. And if you're on a call for six hours, you're very dedicated. <laughs> Dual microphones to give you that really great audio experience. The default lenses are polarized UV 400. You can put RX lenses into these, which is pretty handy. And they have touch controls. Now their touch controls, they have little buttons on the bottom of the arms. And so a single push gets you one thing, double push, triple push, push and hold. So that gets you things like Siri and volume and next track, previous track. And if the phone call comes in, you can just push and take that phone call and push when you're done. So handy. Now, it has a 50 foot range from the source device, but honestly, odds are your source device is going to be in your pocket and these are going to be on your face, man. So let me give you a close up of them on my face so you can see it's a very stylish design. Lucid has definitely done a nice job with their design and it's important to know how to charge these things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about each of these two and then I'll compare them. So stick around. These are the Bose Frames Tenor. We'll come back to those. So charging is a trick because you have to figure out or they have to figure out how do you charge these things. And Lucid took the each arm has its own battery approach. So there's a dual USB plug charger, so it's USB 3 on one end, the standard rectangle, and then little tiny magnet chargers on the two other ends. So basically you connect it and the magnet holds it in place. You put them both on and now you're ready to plug it in and charge it. You can plug it into your car, your computer, to a wall charger, whatever. It includes a wall charger. It does include a case. This is kind of a fun case design because as you can see, it's very small until you open it and assemble it. And now it is ready to go. And it's a nice triangular design. And these are expensive, not as expensive as these, but we'll come back to that. Um, you really want to take care of these. So I'll come to the price at the very end. Now, let me tell you that the Lucid sound pretty good. I had to turn the volume all the way up to get it to be even somewhat loud. So in a loud environment, you might not be able to hear things. They have no issues with latency if you want to watch video or something and you want to make sure everything's in sync. And like I said, those phone calls are glorious. The person on the other end will be so happy you sound so good. <laughs> um, but there are some limitations. I would say that the Bose definitely have better audio reproduction. Oh, but. We were going to talk about comparisons at the end. So let's put this aside. And now let me talk about these. Now these are a little bit more chunky. These are the bows. And you know, which one's more stylish? They're different styles. Again, here's a close-up. So you can see the bows style. These are the frames tenor. And these are powered with Bluetooth 5.1. 
They have five and a half hours of playback, also have dual microphones, also have polarized lenses. They also, you can put RX lenses into these if you want. And their touch controls are a little more limited. They actually have a swipe bar on the right hand side. So this is volume up, this is volume down, and then you can tap and that gets you to voice. So you can get to like Siri. So you could say something like pause music. So ostensibly that works really well. I kind of like having the ability to just tap and be able to go to next or free previous track or something. This does not offer that. However, the Bose does work with an app, the Bose music app, and that does make it easy to do things like upload and, or I mean download and upgrade the firmware in the glasses to make them work better. And on the Lucid, I didn't see any way to update the firmware on those glasses. So <laughs> the version you get when you buy them is the version you have forever, as far as I can tell. Um, the bows are chunkier, but I got to say the music is much better. It's, they really sound good. It's really pretty darn sweet, actually. There's bass, there's a full mid-range and everything. And, you know, turn them up all the way and they're actually pretty loud. They'll work in a loud environment. Though, again, the people adjacent to you will hear them. So if you wear these on an airplane, it's entirely possible the person sitting next to you will say, number one, why are you wearing sunglasses? And number two, can you turn it down? I don't want to listen to your music. I don't know how you have music coming out of your sunglasses, but not my favorite thing. So uh, one of the things they did that's really cool with their design is to turn them off. You just do that. So as soon as you turn it upside down, they power off. Now, they don't then power back on when you turn them the right way. So this is a turn off, and then you're going to have to use the button on the bottom to turn them back on. They have a perhaps slightly better thought out charging system because they have some wires obviously running through um, the unit so that you can plug it in on one side and it charges both sides. So therefore, their wire is a little bit easier to work with. So it is also USB 3, but then there's just the one side, you just hook it up, again it's a magnet, and now I'm ready to charge. A little easier to work with. Um, so that's sort of the deal here. I really like both of them. They're both really cool. I love this design because I really like the idea that I don't have to have something separate. I don't have to worry about losing earbuds. I don't need to have headphones that are telling people, hey, that guy has headphones on. And yet I can certainly be hanging at the beach or walking down the boardwalk and listening to my favorite tunes or podcast or being on the phone with someone, right? Well, actually boss, I'm here at this important meeting and all the wave sounds you hear in the background are just a coincidence. <laughs> um, but there's a huge price difference. So before I get to the price and really talk about the comparison between the two, let me ask if you can subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you do that. It's that red button on the lower right, a tap or a click and boom, you are subscribed and that's great. Okay, so these are the Bose Frames Tenor. They have better sound. They have the app to keep your firmware up to date and they are $249.95 at Bose.com. 250 bucks is a lot of money and I have to say, my son got very excited about the idea of wearing these while he was surfing or while he was skiing and all I could think of was, sure, that first wipeout and they're broken or lost and that's $250. That's pretty spendy. So in terms of using these for action activities, yeah, maybe they're a little overpriced for that. Maybe they're a little too expensive for that task. In fact, since there is some sort of gimmicky sort of part to this too, I don't know that you're going to be listening to your sunglasses every day for the next two years. Then, you know, having that at $250 might be a little spendy overall. However, they look cool, they sound cool, they're great for phone calls, and there's a really sort of a fun factor here that I think is really pretty darn delightful. So, those are the bows. Now, coming in at less than half the price are the Lucid Light. And these are the Lucid Light. They come in a bunch of different styles, as do the bows. And these are $119.99 at lucid.co. And they're a little bit more expensive for overseas, as you would expect for any product, but that is less than half the price of the bows, right? So if you have these and you're wearing them and you have a terrible wipeout and they fall off and one of the arms breaks off or something, 
it is a lot less of a crisis than it would be with the Bose. Now, $119 is still expensive. You could buy a nice set of earbuds for half that price. But again, it's really a fun design and it's a really innovative thing that will get people talking. People will want to know, what are those? Those are really fun and cool. You know, I want some of those too. So these are not as good on the sound department, but that price more than makes up for the fact that these might be 80% of what you get from the Bose. There's less bass here. It's just the way it is. But the fact that it's 120 bucks instead of $250 is a huge consideration here. So if it was up to me and I had to pick between the two, I think I'd go with the Lucid because it gives me almost all the way there with these sort of sunglasses, Bluetooth, talk on the phone and everything. Really fun, 120 bucks for a pair of sunglasses that also has nice audio is not an unreasonable price. Jumping up to $250, well, if you have money to burn, then these bows might be a really great option for you. But if I had to choose between the two, I think I'd be sticking with the Lucid. That's all I got. I think I'm gonna put these back on. I'm gonna go back to my music and I <laughs> will catch you in my next video.